Hi everyone, today I want to discuss something very very important with you. Two years ago, I created a video on my thoughts on handling CAPTCHA and in that video, I saw that there were lots of comments and people started arguing that uh, you know you should actually show how to uh, handle CAPTCHA rather than providing your views and then there were so many uh, you know comments and arguments there that I had to bring down that video but today I saw a new Selenium official documentation and they say the same things that I had said two years ago so now I have uh, uh, made that video public you can find the link for the Selenium official documentation as well as that video in the links in the description below this video and uh, I always say that CAPTCHA is there to differentiate between humans and machines and robots so if you are able to handle CAPTCHA then the entire idea will be lost so normally I suggest that you do not try to handle CAPTCHA but there are ways that you can you know kind of bypass CAPTCHA so if you have CAPTCHA in your application you can either try to disable it in your testing environments you can talk to your developers you can talk to your IT admin team and try to disable it or you can try to bypass it by using some hooks or some APIs. So you also have to see if you are trying to automate CAPTCHA, how much time and efforts you are investing and what is the return on investment. So that is why we normally say that instead of trying to put in so much efforts and time uh, into uh, trying to automate CAPTCHA, you can actually bypass it and that is why CAPTCHA is there. If you are able to automate it, then the entire effort of having CAPTCHA will be lost. So I hope you can, uh, you will find that video helpful. I will provide all the links in the description and let me know your comments in this video. I will see you soon. Thank you for watching.